Hi, this is Jim from MainlineLeather.com again. Uh, the last lesson I taught you how to properly uh, thread a needle. Um, now it's time to do something with it. What I'm going to do today is teach you how to, just a basic hand sewing lesson. What I've done here is I've taken a piece of leather, or two pieces of leather, and I have cut them at a 45 degree angle so that they can fit together and create a square, like a, a 90 degree corner. But first, before you can do this, you have to make something to hold the leather. Now, I've made this little jig here. It's very, very simple if you want to come over and take a look at it. it it's nothing fancy. Uh, all it is is, a, is, as you can see, a piece of 2x4 that's been, you know, angle cut here with a couple of strips with a little bit of spacer. And I just wrapped some elastic cord around it. And that's just so that you can put your part into it and hold it. Uh, you know, there are stitching ponies uh, that will do the same thing, but I like this one. It's, it's handmade. Uh, I've had it for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two pieces of leather in there. You can see where, I, you can see where I've beveled them to like a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to put those in there so they sort of meet together in the corners like so. Okay? There we go. We've got a nice crisp ridge. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my awl. Now this is a, this is a stitching awl. Uh, some of them have straight, uh, st there are straight awls and curved awls. I have a curved awl here. Uh, it's the style that I prefer. Uh, it works better for this type of work. If you're just going to go through straight through two layers, then you'd probably want the straight awl. But for the purpose of what I'm doing today, I'm using a curved awl. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to begin by punching through both layers of, of leather. Now I'm keeping my my this my index finger fairly close so that it, I don't allow this to happen so that I can keep the, the leather located at a certain spot because it's the first one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and thread which I've done both ends and I'm going to put them into this hole like so. What I do is the right needle is further away from me, the left one is towards me. I'm going to push them both through to a point. Then I'm going to do this. What I'm doing it with the left thread is going away from me, the right thread towards me. What I'm doing is creating basically a square knot. So I'm going to pull these through, like so. I'm going to even them up. And I'm going to continue pulling this part until it comes together. And give it a little, just set it in a little bit. This is called an overcast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a double overcast. So I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to punch through one more time. I'm going to bring the needles through, like so through, away, and to me, and I'm going to pull it. Now you can, you can actually see how it's starting, how it does a square knot. That square knot ends up inside the leather so you don't see it. So I'm going to pull it, set it in, and I'm going to bring this left side around to create that overcast again. So now you have a good solid start to whatever it is you're making. Now, from here, I'm going to take slightly smaller, uh, I'm going to call them bites into the leather. These I took because this would be the stress point. But I'm going to take slightly smaller and go through. And I'm kind of almost giving it a, an arc feel to it. And I'm going to put them in. Again, away and to me. Now what I'm doing is I've just turned my hands around rather quickly. I'm going to show you slowly on the next stitch here. Punch, put the needles through, left one away, right one towards you. I'm going to pull out just a little bit and I'm going to lay these in here. You see I've made these little things out of leather? These really save the, ends of, the edges of your little fingers because they can get pretty raw by pulling. And I'm going to pull outwards so my hands are in this position pulling out like that. That enables me 
to give it that little tug that I need to set that stitch in. You don't want to just lay it in, you want to lay it in a little bit tight. I'll do this again. Boom, right in there again. I'm going to stitch it one more time. And you just keep on going. And in real time, you should be able to, with a little bit of practice, do this. And just keep repeating till you get to the end. Once you've gotten to the end, you can use a little slicker like this. And if you notice, it has a little edge piece, a little edge cut out of it. You can run that and it'll close that up really nice and give you a nice closed look like that nice and even now I'm going to do the last stitch here so on the last one again I'm going to take a little bit more than I would have normally because this is going to be a stress point and what I'm going to do is again put the needles through away in two set that stitch in take my left bring it over like so give her a little tug now at this point there's a couple of things you can do you can either cut them and burn your threads or you can go back one stitch to ensure that it's not going to come apart too easily that's what I would do so go back one pull it through set it in and now you're done all you have to do Cut your threads, take a little lighter, burn those up. So now what I'm going to do now is take a lighter and I'm going to just gently burn the ends and you'll see how they, they gently melt. They can catch fire but just blow it out and that'll, uh, that'll finish it off. So I hope this has uh, helped you out again learning how to hand sew a little bit. If you need any uh, leather crafting supplies, check us out at MainlineLeather.com and be sure to keep checking our channel here for more tutorials. Talk to you soon. Bye.